Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dion. This is Chapstick. This is the crazy explanation of YouTube. The crazy because we just have fun on our channel and we enjoy the channels that we watch. The troll part is not caring too much about what the beauty community standards of beauty are. You set your own standard for how you look. They will have you believing you need a certain brand, a certain tool, and to use a certain technique. No, you don't. Buy whatever you want to buy, apply it with whatever you want to apply it with, however you want to apply it, and just rock it. You should be satisfied with how your makeup looks. And aside from all of that, love yourself for who you are and for how you look even without face paint on. That's the bottom line, self-acceptance, self-love. I'm excited for this video. I do curse sometimes. This is what else you will see here. I'm excited for this video because Kim and I, Kim's happy place, and this is my happy place, and hers too, because she loves colorful eye looks as well. We did a previous collab called Washed Out and Dusty, using shades that we don't prefer to use on ourselves. And so if you haven't seen that, check out my collab playlist and look for that video and watch it because it is hilarious. And hers, yeah, hers was funny too. And so this one, we're not going to be washed out and dusty. We're going to be smoky and grungy. And what do I think about when I think of smoky and grungy? Martine Cosmetics 669 palette. Before we get into that, I'll tell you what's on my face because I'll probably forget. So this is what's on my face. I did my brows with the L'Oreal Brow Pencil. If you hear clanking, it's me putting stuff up as I'm showing you. I used... The Fenty Primer, the Foundation, and 335. I did not put on any concealer. I set all of that with the Fashion Fair Truly Tawny. Set it loose powder. For my blush, I used, this is Natasha Denona Palette 07 Neutral Beige. I used this side here for blush. And for highlight on my cheeks, this was gifted to me by Smiley Shandy. Hey girl, hey. This is her Mini Lightworks Volume 3. And I use this shade here, which is Blue Moon. So that shine you see, that's this one right here. I am so sorry for all these glares. And what else did I do? Oh, for bronzer around here, I use Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Bronzer in Dark. And that is what this looks like. And so that is everything on my face. I am going to stop being rude. I'm going to prime my eyes and come back. Actually, no. See, I'm just so excited. I'm all over the place. I'm thinking I'm going to try and stay away from greens because I have the new Martine Cosmetics palette, which has quite a few greens in it. So I'm going to try and do a comparison look just to see how close we can get, though I don't think it is because this... Whatever you're doing here is going to come out smoky, it's going to come out dark, but that palette does have a lot of pops of light and um, those bright greens in it. So I'm thinking this is a dual chrome and this is dual chrome. So I'm thinking this on the inner portion of the lid, and that's Freya. This is Medusa on maybe the center lid, and I'm thinking Willow and Serafina and maybe Hildegard as transition that's what i'm thinking and this will be my 10th look with this palette and i am just super freaking excited i'm going to prime my eyes with the fenty eyeshadow primer as usual and then we'll come back and we will get into this look oh i did spray my face with the milk hydro grip set and refresh spray listen y'all it's like 46 degrees outside it is 76 degrees in my apartment Thanks to my downstairs neighbor, because he does save me money on my electric bill in the wintertime, but it feels like summertime. So I am sweating, which is why I did set my face. I'm hot. I mean, I know I'm sexy hot, but I'm like physically hot too. And so, yeah, I'm going to prime my lids. <laughs> We're going to take an Hourglass number 3 brush and go into Freya. This is very nice as an inner corner highlight. It is a creamy shade. I don't know if you can see that dip in there. Probably not. So let's just keep it moving. And because it's creamy, I am able to press and swipe. And this is a tacky primer that I'm putting it over. 
And even though this is dark and smoky, like you can see the shift already because up here it looks orange and down here, look at that. Oh, oh. I'm making the weirdest noises when I'm excited. I just love this shade and I don't think I've used it all over the lid and I need to experiment with it over a black base. That's what I need to do to see if that'll bring out the shifts. And so I'm going to edit out the rest of this process. No, I'm not because I'm done. <laughs> I'm going to flip it over and we're going to go into Medusa. So even though this is dark and smoky it is going to be dark and smoky just the nature of the palette but it's still going to be colorful and so i'm hoping along with my other martine cosmetics 669 looks that this will give you some inspiration if you have this palette and if not just do about the colors and so just because it's dark and smoky doesn't mean it has to be completely blacked out and so that is why I'm doing this this way. I don't think I've ever paired these two together. This is nice. I'm going to edit out doing the same thing on the other eye. No, I'm not. Because I'm going to tell you about Kim. Listen, when I'm excited, <laughs> I'm just all over the place. But then I'm usually kind of all over the place anyway. And you see the shifts in this one too. These shades. Oh. Kim, she. <laughs> I love Kim's personality. She, the way she says things, I don't think she tries to be funny. I just think that she is. And I think it's because she's straightforward. So she's going to say what she means and how it sounds is just how it sounds. And I appreciate that about her, that she lets her personality come through in her videos where some people, they try to present themselves a certain way. And I'm just like, just be you. And I love that about her channel. She does a lot of things. She does collabs, of course, and she does unboxings. Um, she does giveaways, she does hauls, and she gets creative with stuff too. And I think she does Mask Mondays, but don't quote me on that one. But she does a lot of stuff. I will tag her below, so you can click on that and that will take you directly to her channel. Her collab video will be below, and if you click on that, that will take you to her dark and smoky collab video but either way do check her out if you haven't heard of her or if that will be your first time visiting her let her know Dion loves makeup the troll sent you and hello and thank you to my new subscribers i do appreciate you and i do see you and so you will be learning a lot of things about me as you watch me um, and i do tend to say similar things in similar videos for those of you who are new and don't know my wackiness that well yet. So welcome aboard and make sure you buckle up. I am seriously sweating and I don't have my oscillating fan on over here because it makes my voice oscillate in videos. And next we're going to take Willow, this shade here. This is a clean hourglass number three brush, this shade right here. And this is going to go, I have not done this color combination. And this is my 10th look. I think I did say that. Yeah, I did say that. With this palette. And each look, of course, is dark and smoky. <laughs> but each look is different. Same vibe, though. Because with this palette, you only want to get one vibe. You want to get dark, smoky, or grungy. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> I love this palette. When I posted this on Instagram, this palette with the new one, Someone said that, you know, that's definitely my vibe, which it is. And the shapes are very different, damn it. Um, <laughs> and I had mentioned between this one and the new one, the Mission Triple X Atlas, I believe it's called. Some people just call it the Alien Palette. Because <laughs> the names are the characters from the Alien movies. And the green represents um, the Alien blood and also the predator blood because it's green but i had said that you know this is totally my vibe and between both of these palettes i try and get the shape the same between both of these palettes i really feel like i can declutter at least like half of my eyeshadow palette collection and still be content because i do a lot of looks that are not my preference this is my preference this is where i live so even though i do other stuff 
you know, monochromatic looks. I do light looks. Uh, what people would consider everyday wearable, work appropriate looks. Those aren't my preference, even though I do them. And so, but if I were to stick to where I live, yeah, I can declutter half of my eyeshadow palette collection. Having these two Martine Cosmetics palettes. We're going to take, this is a Scott Barnes number 62. I'm afraid to do a transition because I don't want to mess up the look. And I'm thinking I should have taken my lid shades up higher. I think I'm going to go back and do that. So let me pull those brushes out. I'm going to edit this part out. So when you see me, everything will just be a little higher up. We're going to take this shade here, which I'm hoping is not a mistake. This is Hildegard. And we're going to just take it on the tip of the brush. And we're going to put that right here very lightly. Because this shade sometimes looks a little funky on me. And funky not in a good way. Like it'll look borderline ashy. And I think it's just the tone of it. that purplish grayish tone that doesn't always jive well with my complexion and undertone yeah that works so i'm just going really lightly and just putting it in that space right here i'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye i am digging this look i'm so excited we're going to take we have two Esom v31 brushes and we're going to take medusa on the first half of our lower lash line and then we're going to take the clean one and take willow on the outer portion of our lower lash line and so you will see me in a second i'm going to connect willow which is on this brush which is this shade here and i'm going to connect it so i'm going to run it along this line and connect it right here so that's going to further blow this out i didn't intend to do this but as I'm looking at this gap right here and where this came out, I decided to do that. So you'll see me in another second. This is the brush that had the transition shade on it, which was Hildegard. We're not adding any more shadow on it, but we're just going to just blend out over here. And that'll be it for the eyeshadow. What we're going to do now is I'm going to take NYX Retractable Eyeliner in Gray, put this on my lower waterline. I'm going to take Fenty's Fly Liner in because I'm black for my upper lash line. And I'm going to put Scott Barnes Pumped Up Mascara on top and bottom lashes. We're going to wipe off some plastic. We're going to apply the MAC Matte Retro Lip Color in Caviar. And we're going to top it with... Stila's Gloss Beauty Boss, and the shade is in the black. So that is what we're going to do, and we'll be right back. This is our finished look, the final look. I am always so excited to use the Martine Cosmetics 669 palette. I did a combination of colors I had not used before, which was this one, these two, and this one here. So really simple, just four shades. Wow, usually I'd be like six, seven... 12, not on G12. And I'm also excited too for another collab. I'm so excited I'm having trouble speaking. This, oh gosh, I'm still, okay. Thank you, Kim, for this collab. <laughs> and I'm excited that we're not washed out and dusty. We're dark and smoky, but also colorful. And so I'm hoping this did give some of you another option. Just because it's dark and want to be grungy and a little bit smoky doesn't mean you still cannot have color with it. And thank you, Kim. I think I just said that. I am just so excited for this collab and using this palette again. And now we have to figure out what our next collab is going to be. We did Washed Out and Dusty. Now we're doing Dark and Smoky. Hmm. What are we going to do? We'll figure that out while the rest of you stay tuned to see <laughs> what we decide to do. And make sure you check out her channel. Subscribe to her. Um, click on her video, watch her other videos, leave comments, like her videos, all of that good stuff, and you will see me soon. Thank you.